It's all about this place, Donald Trump's very own golf resort in Florida, Trump National Doral, chosen by Trump last week to host next year's G7 summit, an event sure to fill every room, bring untold publicity to his property, and in so doing, say critics, make Trump a ton of money, though Trump himself said he would not profit. He wanted to put on a show. He wanted to take care of folks. Today, That's Trump's in, in acting hotel, chief of staff place. took on Trump's critics, who were so vociferous on this that late yesterday, under pressure, Trump reversed his decision, tweeting, the G7 will be elsewhere instead, based on both media and Democrat crazed and irrational Hostility For those who suggested Trump was using the power of the office for his own personal reward, said Mulvaney today. He was honestly surprised at the level of pushback. At the end of the day, you know, he still considers himself to be a, in the hospitality business, and he saw an opportunity to take uh, the, the biggest leaders from around the world, and he wanted to put on the absolute best uh, show, the best visit that he possibly could. And he was on that, that drought, description of how Trump sees himself, Fox NFC, News host NFC, Chris NFC, Wallace jumped. I just have to pick up. You say he considers himself in the hospitality sure. business. He's the president of the United States. Yeah, but he's a, that's his background. It's like Mulvaney well, clarified, saying Trump used, to, used to be in the business. All of it fuel for critics who say Trump forever seems to see little wrong in whatever he does as president. That's said Democrats yeah. on Doral well, Friday. If he were a local government official, he'd be in prison for doing that. Meanwhile, said, back really on Fox bad. News, was, does he understand, he president. forget the, the media, and does he understand that it looked lousy? Well, I, I, I think he knows, he thinks that think, people think it looks lousy. But as Trump himself heard at a rally last week, as the G7 story was making headlines, plenty of those who voted for him still back him. <laughs> and are still set to vote Trump again. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.